So you can check it. Match the chemical substances given in the column A with their appropriate application given in the column B. So bleaching powder. What is the application of bleaching powder? Anybody? <laughs> bleaching powder. <coughs> washing, baking soda, washing soda and sodium chloride. Anyone? Inclarity. Yes. So bleaching powder, one of the application, if you now notice it, all of you. So as we all uh, know that, we will use it as a decolorization. So by the time I have shown you, if you dip it in the cloth, if you dip it, the color of the cloth will be disappear. So that is the most important one in the bleaching powder. So if you open your NCRT book, all of you check it, bleaching powder applications. I think page number, take your textbooks. So page number 31, all of you see that. That is the most important page as we all knows that. So bleaching powder, one of the importance of the bleaching powder you can see, it is used cotton and linen textile industry for bleaching wood pulp in paper factories and for bleaching washed cloths in laundry as an oxidizing agent in many chemical industries and make drinking water free from the gems. Also, we'll use it bleaching powder. But here there is nowhere, nowhere it is represented that bleaching powder can be used as a decolorizing substance. But I mentioned in the classwork, you have verified everybody. You have written or not, all of you, Harish? Bleaching powder? Yes? Please respond, guys. So bleaching powder application, all of you remember, it is used for paper and cotton industry. The main purpose of bleaching powder is bleaching of fabrics. So bleaching of fabrics is only the main importance. That is what we used to call as bleaching uh, decolorization. So please write it. Bleaching of fabrics is one of the most important application of bleaching powder. Next, baking soda. What is the importance of baking soda, everybody? Fantastic. Yes? Fantastic. Yeah, baking soda formula what? NaH? CO3. NaH, CO3. So we are having only two antacids, either milk of magnesia, yeah, MgOH twice. And second one is what? NaH, CO3. Sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. So only for class 10th, only these two you have. So these two you should learn. Next, washing soda. What is the washing soda formula? Just now we studied. What is the washing soda formula? Everybody. NaCO3. NaCO3 dot 10 H2. Water of 10. So preparation of what? Everybody. Glass. Washing soda. Glass. Everybody uses glass and paper. Understanding? So one of the use, third use, I have told you. It is used in the manufacturing of glass and paper. Have you verified it in our class also? Verify it. So each use is very important. Sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is production of what? Yes, please. Hydrogen and? Hydrogen chloride, yes. Process only we used to call something. Anybody can tell? What is the process? So one of the product we are getting that, along with that, we are getting main product is what? Sodium hydroxide. Sodium. Is what we used to say caustic soda. What is to call caustic soda? Correct? Or not? Yes. Love you. That is what. See, MC match the following is also they are asking. So that is the reason we all need to make sure every time we have to know everything. Next. So which is the correct option? Option C. Option C. Next. Equal volumes of equal volumes of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solutions of same concentration are mixed and the pH of the resulting solution checked with the pH paper. What would be the color obtained? You may be used color guide given in the figure 2.2. So this is the figure given to you people. So now what is your expected answer? Anybody can tell. So three questions. Red, yellow, yellowish green, blue. Anybody. So again, once again, read the question and you can make it. Equal volumes of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide solutions of same concentration are mixed. And, and the pH of the resulting solution is checked with the pH paper. 
So what would be the color obtained? You may be use the color guide given in the figure. This is what universal indicator. So chart, chart for chart of universal indicator. So anybody can universal indicator. So we all know that it will varies from even it is wrong. 1 to 14 only universal indicator. Okay, that's fine. So we can use it. So this is actually 1 to 14. No zero in universal indicator. Am I right? Universal indicator paper you verified? Everybody? 1 to 14 or 0 to 14? Universal indicator. Universal indicator chart. Harish? Sir, 0 to 14, sir. Universal indicator. Ra, pH scale is 1 to 14. Uh, 1 to 14. 1 to 14. 1 to 14. Universal indicator verified. Everybody check it. Universal indicator varies from 1 to 14 or 0 to 14. NCRT book also verified. General pH scale varies from 0 to 14. But the universal indicator starts from what? 1 to 14 only. Am I right, Mithachri? Check it your class. Yes, book also check it. NCRT book. NCRT book see that. 1 to 14 or 0 to 14. 1 to 14 only. Page number. What is the page number? But okay. The book they have given 0 to 14. But that is not the... That is actually pH scale. But universal indicator varies from... 1 to 14 only. That's fine. So, book they have given 0 to 14. But this is not the pH scale. Then it is not a universal indicator. It is the pH scale color chart. That's all. So, if always universal indicator, remember, universal indicator varies from 1 to 14 only. Not from 0 to 14. Normal pH scale, we can say is from 0 to 14. That's fine. Now, what is our expected answer? Everybody? Red. So, red will never be... And yellow is green. Blue also yellow won't be. Sir, yellow is green. Yellow, yellow is green. green. Because it is mixed with the acid and as well as base. So that we can say it is yellow is green. So the same concentration. That is what I am saying. So equal volumes. We are adding two things here. Equal volumes of hydrochloric acid and as well as sodium hydroxide solutions of the same concentration are mixed. And the pH of the resulting solution checked with a pH paper. So what would be the color obtained? So you maybe use the color guide also they are mentioning. So we all people are very familiar with the colors. So we, you can notice it here. So yellow is green. So if you notice, so what will happen all of you? It is closer to the base and as well as closer to the acid. So it will not be completely neutral also. So no blue color will come. No red color also will come because it is a mixture of acid plus base and it is completely not neutralized substance. If it is completely neutralized, we will get a color called as. What is that color? Everybody. We used to call it as green. And next one is greenish blue. So it is same concentration with the different one is acid, another one is base. So that we are obtaining a color called as. What is that color? Everybody which is known as everyone, which is, it is called as yellowish green. Yellowish green is the color. So neither, almost it will be acidic in nature and as well as it is in basic color. So yellowish green is the correct color which will obtain when equal volumes of hydrochloric acid is mixed with the sodium hydroxide solution of same concentration. So that is what you have to remember. So yellowish green is the correct answer. Next, which of the following is true when HCl is passed through the water? HCl is passed through the water. Everybody? HCl see that. It is hydrochloric acid or hydrogen chloride? Everybody? Hydrogen. This is hydrogen, hydrogen chloride gas. Hydrogen chloride gas. So now tell me what is your answer? HCl, which of the following is or are true when HCl gas is passed through the water? Everybody? First, it does not ionize in the solution as it is a covalent compound. As it is a covalent compound. So, first of all, you can see that. Next, second one, it ionizes in the solution. Next, it gives both hydrogen and hydroxyl ions in the solution. 
नेक्स्ट इट फॉर्म्स इट फॉर्म्स हाइड्रो हाइड्रोनियम आयन इन द सॉल्यूशन ड्यू टू द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आयन विद द वाटर मॉलिक्यूल सो देयर इज इक्वेशंस व्हिच आई हैव गिवन यू इट इज दिस इक्वेशंस नॉट देयर इन आवर बुक बट वी पीपल हैव रिटन द इक्वेशंस व्हेन द एसिड रिएक्ट विद दैट ऑल ऑफ यू चेक इट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ लाइक बेसिस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आयंस बुक दिस दिस वन इज नॉट एट ऑल देयर योर एनसीईआरटी बट वी हैव रिटन ऑल ऑफ यू चेक इट ऑल ऑफ यू वी विल गेट इट thing for example uh you can take uh, hcl hydrochloric acid so you can see that the acids whose molecule gives one h plus ion during the ionization of water we used to say particularly like you can take hcl if it will uh, react with the water so what is the products we are going to get you can check it all of you we have written that also hydronium ions will form h plus ions or hydronium ions so hcl will react with the water so it is a reversible reaction also we have written that equation so we'll get h3o plus ions plus anion will come do you remember everybody yes harish this equation also i have given you so for example if you take any kind of acid so weak acids or strong acids reacting with the uh, water you can see that what will happen so it will ionize in the solution it will forms ions it will form hydronium ions plus anion also will come you have written that equation also not hcl you take any kind of acid please all of you remember acid will react with the water okay so it will form reversible reaction it will form hydronium ions plus it will form anion okay so that is the statement you have written so first statement it does not ionizes in the solution at is as it is a covalent compound of course it is a covalent compound i know but it will ionizes so statement 1 is wrong next it ionizes in the solution is it right or wrong everybody yes please it is right yes, or wrong sir. yes it is right so that is what it is okay next it will gives both hydrogen and hydroxyl ion no it will never give hydrogen it will give you hydronium ions so this statement is also wrong fourth one it will forms hydronium ions what do you mean by hydronium ions h3o plus only am i right everybody please respond all of you so hydronium ions means h3o plus in the solution due to the combination of hydrogen ion with the water molecule so that is why what is the correct statement 2 1 2 1 2 1 4 so please write this equation in book you, you do not have this equation but we have written even i given you one example also acidic acid ch3cooh react with the water so we will get it one one product what is that ions so ch3cooh plus hydronium ions h3o plus ions will come so that is what you have to remember so carboxyl so hydroxyl means this is what this is the name called as we used to called as carboxyl carboxylic acids so basically organic acids are carboxylic acid so they, basically we can say this is carboxyl ion so that is why we can say it will never give you hydrogen it will give you hydronium ions and it will forms the ionize ionizes into the solution so that is why 2 and 4 is correct this is also one of the important question mcq see entire concept has to be there in our mind otherwise you people cannot make anything so we have written that and all you can check it everybody so when h h2o all of you remember acid will hcl will pass through the water so it will forms into hydronium ions we have written also it is you can check in our class works also so that is what uh, you have to remember it clear everybody all of you yes next one which of the following statement is true for the acids which of the following statement is true everybody bitter and change red litmus to blue first acids they are so acids means they will change as what blue litmus to everybody blue litmus to red okay so wherever you are having red to blue you, you strike the two options directly i'll strike the two options because red to blue red to blue gone next this only we have to change it so what is the acids taste guys acids are what is the taste of the acids everybody so sour in taste understanding so acids are sour in taste and bases are in what taste everybody 
bitter in taste. That is the first thing we study. The substances which are sour in taste are acidic in nature. So what is the correct option? Option C. So bitter means it is a base. So that this option wrong. So sour and changes blue litmus to red. So please make sure. So option C. Next. Which of the following are present in the dilute aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid? Just now I have told you. Just now we discussed it here. Up. Everybody. Same. You can replace it. Acid plus water. Instead of acid, I am putting dilute HCl. So what is the answer present? Harish? Yes, please. Hydronium ions. Others also. Please respond, guys. Hydronium ions. Plus? Yes, please. Chlorine. Understanding? So, what is that, everybody? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Now, I will teach you that equations also. Book it is not there. So, please, all of you write that. Everybody, if HCl react with the water, all of you remember, we are going to get hydronium ions plus we are going to get chlorine. Okay? So, this is what it is. So, check it, everybody. Understand, Mithakshri? Very important one. If you are not written, you can write it. For example, water, it will reacting with the sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. We will get again what? Hydronium ions plus anions. What is anions? Negative ions or positive ions? Anions means what, guys? Negatively charged or positively charged? Anions. Negatively charged. Anions means negatively charged. Please remember this equation. You never find in your book, but you have to know it. Okay? Next. Bases, I will say. So, bases, for example, you can see hydroxyl ions. Ma, again, write this word also. Hydroxyl ions means OH minus ions. That is what hydroxyl ions we used to say. So, please note it that also. Okay. So, hydroxyl ions. Bases will react. Please write it. So, when NH4OH, for example, NH4OH will react with the base so that it will form NH4 plus OH minus ions. Now, NaOH will react. Base will react with the water. All of you remember, these all are reversible reactions. Why I am putting double arrow? All are what, everybody? All are reversible reactions. Okay? So, KOH reacting with the water. So, please note it. You will form K plus plus OH minus ions. Are you clear, everybody? So, bases will react. So, what is the products will come? You all should speak. What is the products will come? We will get hydroxyl ion. Please note it. Bases will react with the water. We will get hydroxyl plus one positive ion, NH4 plus ions. So, that is what is the standard equation. So, please make sure you are uh, completely know about this. Okay. So, very, very important one. Write it. Understand, Ma? Girls? Okay, guys. So, it's a very important concept. So, what is the answer? Which of the following are present in a dilute aqueous solution? Whatever it is, you please remember, acid reacting with the water. So, we are going to get, what is that? Hydronium ions, H3O plus ions, plus we are going to get anions. So, that anions only this one, chlorine, sulfate, you can take anything. If you want, you can take, for example, HBr, hydrogen bromide, reacting with the water. So, which will gives you H3O plus plus bromine ions. So, that is what it is. Please complete it. Any doubt, you can ask me. Understand, all of you? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, double arrow always. You put here everywhere double arrow. What do you mean by double arrow? It is a reversible. reversible reaction also. So, one of the first time you study, I know that. So, very few people only knows. Remaining all, please note it down. Okay? Hydrogen bromide. That is also acid. So, please note that also. Hydrogen bromide. HBr. Okay, next question. Last one. Identify the correct representation of the reaction occurring during chloralkali process. Chloralkali process means what? Production of everybody. Yes, please. Production of caustic soda. Yes or no? 
So production of caustic soda. That's all. So what is that, everybody? Balance equation. Many times. Which one, Amma? Girls? Boys? Option. Option D. Option D. Okay. So please verify it. It is option D. So what is that equation? Chloralkali process. Verify it. So NaCl plus NH3 plus H2O plus CO2 will give you. Sorry. So yeah, NaCl plus H2O will give you NaOH plus Cl2 plus H2. Balancing. 2 NaCl plus 2 H2O gives you 2 NaOH plus Cl2 plus H2. So this is the standard and balanced equation of chloralkali process. That is the reason some equations you all need to know. If you have learned already, it will be very easy. So please make sure you have to make it. So why this equation is wrong? Anybody? Can you tell me that C and D, what is the difference? Any one of you? Chlorine gas. Chlorine and hydrogen. That is why always I will say physical state is very, very important. Understanding everybody? So for formation of CBQs, CBQ questions, the most important factor is physical state. That is what from the first chapter we form. First chapter we are we have studied. Do you remember? What is the physical state of carbon dioxide oxygen in photosynthesis reaction, in respiration reaction? Nobody knows. Am I right or wrong? So what is the physical state of carbon dioxide in respiration reaction? Anybody? Physical state of carbon dioxide in respiration reaction. Yes, aqua state. Oxygen also aqua state, but people will think gaseous state. That is why every time I'm saying, at least from today, whenever you write an equation, remember that, make sure physical state, unless you know the physical state, you are not supposed to write any equation. Okay. So till here you complete it with this MCQs are over. Then from here, tomorrow we'll continue. I hope everybody clear with the today's class. Anybody having anything doubt, you can ask me or else you can leave from the meeting. Get back to work. Sleeping is not allowed. You are not supposed to sleep. That is what is my sincere request. Start discussing. See, each question is a challenging. The question which is not present, this is one of the most important. 99% people don't know. Even what is hydroxyl, you don't know. What is hydroxyl? OH minus ions. And next one, this pH scale question, and may what which one I said second chapter yes so this is what metals and non metals will study second chapter I don't think so I have taught you any equation with metal oxide reacting with water is it Harish verify it and let me know if you have done okay so I think I don't think so I have taught you only third chapter will study that okay so that's why please have a glance and learn so here also you see that ninety percent people will confuse it everywhere OH is there OH is there okay. But OH means it's alcohol group. Next chapter, fourth chapter only will study carbonates compounds. So please make sure you are making that. Okay. So with this, I'll stop. We'll continue. Thank you, everybody. Get back to work and start working. Thank you, everyone.